I just came across something I thought might be helpful to people who don't understand biological evolution or um, have been misled about uh, the order of um, the history of biological evolution, which things evolved from which. Now, um, first off, I, I want to say evolution is simply the process of change accumulating or being accumulated. In other words, changes add up. When changes are adding up, that's evolving. That's what evolving is. Um, has nothing to do with life or biology or anything like that. Evolution happens to pretty much everything. Biological evolution is complicated because biology is complicated. And the history of biological evolution is recorded in things like fossil records and and uh, DNA sequences. That's what's called natural history, meaning that history was recorded by nature in the in that case, not by humans. Now, um, I'll leave a link in the description to this page. Um, you may or may not be able to see it on the on the finished YouTube video, but um, I'm going to go ahead and click on play game, and that should open up. Uh, the beginning of this this little uh, demonstration. I should clarify that when I say some history of evolution is recorded in DNA sequences, I don't mean uh, that there's literal um, direct information uh, about the history of uh, biological evolution um, recorded directly into uh, a DNA sequence. In other words, you can't read a DNA sequence and, for example, find something in there saying, um, you know, when amphibians evolved or something like that. Um, but uh, collectively, the, the, the genomes of multiple species of life can be compared to each other and information about how they're related to each other uh, can be derived from that comparison. It's a bit of a complex subject, so I'm not going to get into too much detail about it here. Um, I just uh, wanted to clarify what I was saying earlier. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this uh, play button on the uh, training trees. Now when you get to this part of the application, or whatever you want to call this, there's a video that starts playing automatically. Uh, I've paused that video, and I'm going to edit this, of course, to uh, you know take out things like me pausing the video and stuff like that. Um, so, so you're not going to see everything. Again, this is just to give people uh, uh, the basic idea of how this works, uh, to make it a little simpler for anybody who wants to give it a try and uh you know doesn't want to have to figure it out all on their own but again i'm going to try not to give any spoilers as far as the actual solutions to the uh puzzles in this thing i'm just going to show um you know what the methods are how to go about uh working on solving them so i'm going to go ahead and click play on this first one it's called red green and gecko and here I'm given two different life forms, a gecko and a palm tree. And one trait, this little blue dot up here, it says cells with nuclei. That's the trait. And down here are the two life forms. Um, you can grab either one of these life forms, drop it up in here. Um, if you want to take it back out, you can. You can just kind of drop it anywhere. Um, grab the other one and drop it in there. When you bring up another life form after there's something already in there, it gives you some choices as to where you can put it. Notice, um, because there's only other, one other life form, um, it's, it's assuming that they've got a common ancestor and uh, not specifying what that common ancestor is. So there's really only one way I can place that. Um, besides, of course, the fact that I, I could switch the order that they're in. Uh, but basically the same thing. And when I grab this trait, um, it gives me three different places I can put the trait. And uh, 
you can you can pick the trade up once you placed it somewhere and you can move it somewhere else and try to fill these little dots on the top so uh, going on to the next one i'm just going to skip over actually solving this on the video this game or whatever you want to call it um has a lot of uh instructions to help you out so um uh, my video about it is going to be somewhat redundant in that respect. But, uh, again, it's just meant to make it a little easier for people who uh, want to do a little less figuring out on, on their own. Um, notice here it's it's telling me to click on this magnifying glass. Uh, it's given me a third life form here. Um, I can pick that up and try to do something with it, but it's it's not going to respond because I haven't followed the instructions yet and clicked on the magnifying glass. So click on that, and uh, it, it shows me um, magnifying glass next to each of these different things. And I could click on one of these, and it would give me information about that particular thing. And uh, I'll leave that up to anybody who wants to do that. Um, actually, I guess I'm going to have to click one of them before it'll even let me go on from there so done that close that okay so again just to show a little of how this works um, not saying what's right or wrong where these things should go but if I pick up this uh, cells with nuclei attribute I could drop it over here and make it uh, t tell it that it's an attribute of geckos rather than of both geckos and palm trees and you'll notice the blue dot shows up here just uh just for gecko and if i move it over here uh to palm tree uh, i've missed grabbing it let me try that again move it over here to palm trees um notice mm -hmm. then it shows up as an attribute of palm tree and not of gecko likewise i could pick up this fly agaric fungus or mushroom and uh, drag it up here and I could I could put it down here as uh, having uh, split off from a common ancestor before the split between gecko and palm tree or I could drag it up here and uh, make it um, more related and more closely related to gecko or more more closely related to a palm tree and uh, Again, I'm, I'm not trying to give any clues as to what's the, the right or wrong places to put them. Um, I'll drop it in as more closely related to a gecko. Um, and uh, now I'll move it. More closely related to a palm tree. Which one is it? That's, that's for you to decide. Um, the, these, this is information you can easily look up, and again, the, the, uh, this game or program or whatever you want to call it does give you a way that you can look up information on these things right here and uh, should give you enough hints to figure it out. Um, <clears throat> here's an at attribute of heterotrophic, um, which basically means that it, it needs to eat other life forms in order to survive. It doesn't make its own energy. And I'll place that over here on palm trees just for the fun of it. Again, not saying whether that's right or wrong, just something I'm doing. Just to show how something can be placed. And this uh, photosynthetic autotroph I'll drop down here at the root of this. Now, notice how it shows it's splitting, and uh, it went up all three branches, but um, it only actually lit up on palm tree. So it's it's basically giving me a clue that um, I, I did something wrong here, that uh, dropping this where I did... Um, uh, isn't quite right because uh, it's it's not showing up on gecko even though I put it as before uh, the split uh, that went to geckos so notice if I drop it here right on gecko it's uh, it's not gonna go anywhere 
<clears throat> so, at any rate, I'll, I'll leave it up to you to try rearranging things and, and uh, work out the details. Um, if you want to try this out, again, the link will be in the description of uh, the YouTube video I'm making out of this. And uh, I was going to go a lot farther into this. Um, and and uh, haven't actually gone that far into it myself. It uh, went, went basically before doing this just far enough to see that it looked like something that could be helpful to people. And I decided to make this video. Um, and but, but I think this is enough explanation to get people started. I don't want to make it long and boring. So calling it good enough. Thanks for watching.